there is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions, conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here, points of access hard to come by, and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates, but regardless of that, there's... Odegaard! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Oh, it's come loose. Hits one! And for a moment, time stood still. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Managed to get it away. Oh, guard. Great ball, and he's in here. And he's there to get it away. Gabriel gets it back, and back to the keeper they go. White, neither side yet able to find the net. It's Saka. Turns and goes back. Now it's Martinelli. It will be. Idrissa Gay, pressing is high and relentless, and it's Coleman, stands up to him well and emerges with the ball, Odegaard, Gabriel Jesus, oh good spread, he's in plenty of space here, Gabriel Jesus, goal, Arsenal, Arsenal take the lead, Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think the he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Arsenal, after 26 minutes is... Number 10, Gabriel Jesus! Arsenal get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Partey. Partey. Has a look and has a go. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Party just can't be faulted for taking on the opportunity. That sort of distance is, is usually up his street. That'll be a throw in. And it's Shaka. Clears it out of harm's way. Arsenal have it back and they can go again. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Granite Shaka. There will be one minute at a time. Got a shot away! Now, who's, he can pounce on that! 
And we've reached half time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What do we learn from the first That's 45 the first half, minutes? Then. Well, I think a the scoreline offers a fair reflection of but the level of endeavour from both Willis. teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Arsenal, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. And we're underway again. Arsenal going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Yeah, this kind of bold running will all... Goes for the header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Coleman. And he's forced to go back. That could spell trouble. It's a pretty loose pass. Forwards and with intent. Lovely ball into space. Cody gets good distance on it. Shaka threads one in. Played back towards his own goal. That's a poor pass, too easily intercepted. Coleman. Martinelli, delicate ball, and it needs to be, and it's the goalkeepers to claim. The attendance for this match Shifted was 71,550. He's got away. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Granit Xhaka. Now it's Gabriel Jesus. Now it's Martinelli. Odegaard. Can he finish? He's got a goal! And this is getting better and better. perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare it's it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defense and by the time he picked up the flight of that it was too late after 73 minutes is number eight Martin Erdogan. Substitutions taking place. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Arsenal grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Shapes to shoot! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Smith Rowe just got a little carried away with himself there. He knew he could have clinched it. Substitution on the field. Number 11. Demare Gray! Coming on to replace him Everton is can counter properly here. Number 50. Now it's Smith Rowe. And the shot's off. Great hit! It. That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. 
Well, it's an inspired substitution, a terrific move by the boss. That's just as the manager After would have seen it, an impact sub. Number 14, Edin Ketian. <laughs> Substitution on the field, number eight. Everton making another Coming change here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Arsenal take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. It will be. Uketia. And the counter is on. Time. Ooh, a delicate chip through. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Odegaard voted man of the match, and deservedly so. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, it was a game that was won by we'll Sam